Welcome to the beautiful country, De Dahomey. Now, I thought you guys were going to give us a little bit more time before you ruin things, but there y'all are after 72 hours of reaching over $20 million worldwide in domestic and being the number one movie in America, you guys have taken all of everything this cast has worked for and twisted it. Let's go, roll my, roll my intro. So today we're gonna be talking about the fact that I have, first of all, I was supposed to do just a hair report for Claire Hair, but I ended up doing, I ended up wanting to talk about the actual review for the movie. I went and saw it on Sunday. If you see my previous vlog, I actually saw it on Sunday. Now I'm gonna address this once and only once. So a lot of people are saying the true nature of the Dahomey and how they were participants in a certain demographic being purchased for labor that was unpaid. Oops. Um, so basically, now that you got through that, that's just so I won't get demonetized. Um, so basically after that, a lot of people were just like, oh, why are we celebrating them? Like so many big stars turned it down. This and other. I was like, listen, let's also talk about a beloved movie that people talked about. Let's talk about Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Ooh, we're going there today. So Snow White and the Seven Dwarves was written, actually the original tale is by the Brothers Grimm. And you know, they're known for their sense of humor. And my main thing is the fact that the true story behind Snow White, the true story behind Sleeping Beauty and the true story behind Cinderella were not pleasurable for the ears. So when I sit there and tell you now you guys want to pick up an encyclopedia. Now you want to be literate. Now you want to be accurate for a certain knowledge. You guys are on your way to literally taking all that hard work they did. All that hard work they did and just throwing it to the side on a technicality because we know once a certain demographic gets a little bit of confidence, a little bit of, a little bit of credit, we know what time it is. It's time to squander that credit. It's time to squander that credit. It's time to um, put a microscope out. Now we have all these scientists who are doing every microscope of every detail. Oh, well, their, oh, well, their makeup isn't all right or the uniform wasn't correct. Was at the end of the day, we need to support this movie. Just like I support period odd, period odd girl, whatever, young lady, I don't know her whatever, just like I supported and retweeted and reposted um, the lady who, her and a certain rock star and, a, and the Victoria's Secret model. At the end of the day, you guys are so quick to promote this stuff, but yet we're trying to push this movie to the forefront. Yes, it's number one, but we need to keep it at number one because the fact that Black Adam is coming in a couple of weeks. So we wanna keep this as number one so we can keep rotating. We're doing this this year. If you want details on my outfit, this is a sheet and this is a ponytail holder. All right, so we're gonna go into what I like the most was the cinematography and the aesthetics, gorgeous. Like I felt like they really took us there. I also felt like they had a couple of people like a different hairstyle. Like I look like I could be one of the wives from um, John Boyega's character. I look like I can be one of the wives. Like honestly, like the they were serving looks. Of course, as more images get out as the movie comes through, there's gonna be more images that we can show, but just know they were serving looks, okay? Like every look I was just like, what else they got? Noted. Um, the cinematography as well was really, really nice. I felt like there was like a couple of shots that I felt I could feel the emotion. Like I felt the trapment, I felt the frustration. I felt the part when she took her um, this in the way. Also the hair report, hair report, hair report. Um, there is a lot of braids there, a lot of certain designs that honestly, one of the braid designs actually look like a map back to the homie. I could be stretching, but one of the signs that they had, one, one of them that they had, I was just like, I felt like the braid looked like it was a map. It was specifically braided. I was like, this was gorgeous. They had a lot of braids there. And then they also had, um, her love interest, the Spoiler alert, the daughter. Um, they had her They had her love interest. They had him in a, you know him from the 100. He was the engineer, so I was pilot. They had him in a 10 inch wet and wavy bundle um, activated by water. <laughs> but for the most part, I can definitely say that the aesthetic was like one of the main reasons why I would give it a 4.75 out of five. 
Now I do like the plot and for it to be so long, it really enraptured, it bewitched me from the beginning of the movie. So I can definitely say for sure that it was very, very, very interesting. So as someone who had no background in it, I can definitely say for sure that it caught my attention. Um, there was a lot of, I can definitely say there was a lot of times where um, I just had to take in it, take it in. Cause it's just like, there's just so much going on, not in the valley, but it's just like, you had to take it in. Cause like, it was just so much beauty, like so much melanin greatness, melanin excellence on screen. Like it took me a minute. I was like, okay. You know, like it, it definitely took me a minute to like, just take everything. And, um, I like the fact that there was very, a lot of emphasis on sisterhood. I like that fact. I like that, um, going to, there's a lot of emphasis on sisterhood that, even though we didn't come from the same same place, we're all together. I feel like there's a word in that too, because you know, in the African diaspora, there's a lot of people who like to think that we're all different, but we're all the same. Um, I also like the fact that there wasn't really emphasis on their beauty, you know? And what I mean by that, no, they're all gorgeous. But like, there was no makeup. Like, I was so happy to do that because now I don't got to put no makeup on for this video. But there was no makeup, really heavy makeup that was placed on them. It was most like natural beauty. You're looking at like their beauty is how strong they are, but they could also be very feminine as well. The outfits, mad cute. Um, Shayna West is one person that really stuck out to me. She choreographed the entire film and then she actually had a speaking part. I'm literally in the crowd, like at the movies, like, yeah. <laughs> yes, because the fact that she's finally giving her accolades, she's been in the game for a very long time. I can't really particularly put my point on it, but she's been in the game for so long. Um, uh, you already know Viola Davis is a acting phenom, acting phenom. She had her snot, I have some notes here. She had her snot bubbles. She had her snot bubbles and tears ready for everybody. So I can definitely say for sure that um, she acted her butt off. There are so many people there. Um, spoiler alert, Lashana Lynch's character um, uh, is not here anymore. And the thing was like, they they made me fall in love with her character and then they, you know, unalived her. Like it literally, like it, it was just frustrating. And then um, uh, the, uh, the other characters as well, as well, they were really interesting as well. But I think what I took most of it is just like the storyline, like their take on it especially after researching and you know educating myself on the how the real story of the Dahomey and how they came and how they were part of the transatlantic um purchasing process you know i can definitely say i looked into that and i can definitely see that they took a better take on it more easier on the ears take on it but at the end of the day both stories need to be heard but my main thing is the fact that so many people are just, so many people are dissecting and going in and not really giving it a chance saying like, oh, okay, well, this is not accurate. I'm not gonna support it. I was just like, and how many inaccurate movies have you guys watched? Like, no offense, but there's been plenty of y'all favorite movies that were not, not even close, okay? There's plenty of you guys' favorite movies that were not even close to being accurate. So trust me on this, let's not pick and choose. Let's not pick and choose on that, but I can definitely say for sure that a lot of the actors definitely did a good John Boyega did really did good. Um, you know, he carried himself, but he didn't, he also like, I feel like it was equal footing. It's like he did, he carried his own as well as the other people carry their own as well. But my thing, my thing more so is the fact that I was more frustrated with the fact I don't like when someone's working hard, you know, just like, I don't like when someone's working hard and people are so so people are so bent on not being able to support something for their own previous conceived notions that they're taking away from the art. It is not easy to sit up there and film like this video, like my videos that are like 10 to 15 minutes long. That's almost three hours of editing, you know, making sure the lighting's right, making sure everything's right. So I definitely have a respect for that. So I can definitely say for sure, that's my thoughts on like the, how the characters portrayed. And then of course, you know, um, her daughter, spoiler alert, um, she did an ex excellent thing to come and find out that she's 31. She has a baby face. She is adorable. I know she's a grown woman, but she is so cute. Um, but she also, you know, spoke about her being able to come in and like, you know, she's been working for a while too. So for her to be able to come in and like basically um, steal the scene like that, I feel like everybody pulled their weight. There wasn't someone that was just like, okay, well, they can't really act. Someone must have hired them. Someone knows them. But every person I was like, dang, like I felt the emotion. I felt the frustration. 
and all of that going with that. So my point with that saying where it's at in time, I feel like there's a certain proclivity for people to use a certain genre around that time. So that's why I said like, it was nice to see. It was nice to see something else. And you know, I'm obsessed with Amazon. You know, I love Wonder Woman and Nubia, of course, but like, it's just one of the things where like, it was nice to see, like, it makes me feel strong. Like, I feel like I can go into battle right now. My little, you know, my little spaghetti and meatballs, noodle arms. Like, I feel like I can go into battle right now. Like, it was just so empowering. Like, I'm not on their promotion team or anything like that. It's just, I hate it when I see some, something, somebody, when somebody has so much talent and people are overlooking it because they can't stay focused. Focus with me, baby. Focus with me, Okay. Because my main issue is the fact that you need to go see this movie for yourself. Maybe see it a couple of times. You might miss like little, you might miss like little, little clues here and there, but definitely go see it in widescreen. I think that was very important. Also, I feel like, I feel like I set up a good, I feel like I had a good grounding for it to set up for the next one, as well as the fact that the only reason why I didn't give it a five out of five is because... <laughs> It's just me being a grown woman, but I would have liked to see a little bit of the scene where um, I wish I'm a grown up. Like, I wish I would have seen like I don't have to see like a full thorough scene. But you know where you watch women, you feel like they have too much. They have too many explicit scenes like they didn't have any. Like, I feel like you can watch this. I think you can watch, I mean, there's certain scenes that, you know, like a little bit more sensitive, like with the violence, but for the most part, I feel like you can watch this with like a 13 or 14 year old, but I wish I would have saw a kiss or something. You know, that's just me. I wish I would have saw the kiss because it's just kind of like, she came out, she came out the window and like had the blanket on. I was just like, oh, you know, like I didn't, I didn't really know, like, I didn't really know what happened. Like, I wish they would have like showed like a full on I wish they would have showed a full on scene, you know, but that's just me. Okay, that might be the only one, but that's just me. But I wish they would have showed a scene that was like a little bit, just give us two minutes, okay? Save some of the landscape views. Give us two minutes of that, just a little something. But I like how they didn't, they like, they just showed so much strength. And like the main, the main motif that I like was the fact that you don't ever give up. You don't ever give up. And I'm not gonna sit here and stand on my soap soapbox or anything like that is the fact that like you don't ever give up it don't matter if you're just like dang i don't got no plan perfect you know one thing <laughs> you ain't got no plan but the main motif that i took for the movie was that you don't ever give up and i feel like oftentimes like once we see something's hard or something looks impossible we're just like okay well that's the end of that well you know i'm gonna bow on green flea i'm gonna stop no you don't ever give give up and you know as someone who's a small content creator and to sit there and watch other content creators who don't have my same passion. You can tell, don't, don't, don't be saying I'm messy, but you can tell they don't have my same passion to see them be promoted more or because they just do whatever. Like it is disheartening sometimes, but I'm telling you, I'm not going to give up till we make it to the top. Now, whether that takes three years, whether it takes seven years, as long as I'm here, I will keep on going. It might be stalled a little bit here and there because I'm living life, but we're going to keep going. There's no way. There's too much potential here. But that's my own thing, but that's the motif I took for the movie. Now, my final point, and I'm justice for the last time, my final point is that ask yourself, are you holding back from seeing the movie because you know the past history or... Are you holding back for the movie? Because you needed to find something. You needed to find something. You know you did. At the end of the day, I've seen people watch movies for less. I've seen people bootleg movies or pirate movies for less. Like that same support. I want you to have that same support. Like one thing I've noticed that I'm very good at picking up patterns. So when I saw so many people reposting and retweeting so many of this stuff that I think is purposelessness just fodder um when i see people repost that y'all are so quick to repost that so quick to um re reshare that you need to have that same energy for woman king you need to and it's not it's not like i'm sitting here trying to like drag out to the movie theater but you gotta understand like an opening of 20 million dollars is pretty good especially if i think the budget was about 50 million dollars um it's pretty good for opening but 
the main thing is the fact that we got to stay on top because what's going to happen is Adam, you know, Black Adam is a DC movie, I believe. And, you know, that's coming in two, three weeks. We need to have had it where they stay on top of the box office, not just there was like a um, curiosity for it for the next week. No, we need to stay at the top of the box office and keep on applying pressure. Because one thing that irritates me is when people sit there and say, oh, well, I'm tired of watching movies that don't look like me. This you. This is you, you, and you. Yeah, you two under the chair. This is all of you. So my main thing too is the fact that I like the fact, like my, my final, final thought was the fact that I like that there was no extensions. Like it's kind of similar to Wakanda. Like a lot of the hairstyles looked natural. Like they could actually be their hair. Now, that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, I'm wearing a weave myself, but it's just the fact that, not the sweet potato saying they're done, um, but it's just the fact that like, there was a lot of natural hairstyles for me to choose from for future notice as well. And I noticed that too, like all I could just replay is like from Wakanda was when, <laughs> from Black Panther was when she threw it with, uh, when she threw the, uh, when she threw the wig as a weapon, I was like, oh Lord. But I like the fact that there was a lot of natural hair, natural hair texture, natural hairstyles. I really, really appreciated that because my thing is like, at the end of the day, I'm gonna keep saying this time blue in the face is that we need representation. And when we get that representation, this is the main thing, listen to me. When we get that representation, I need for you to support it. I don't need no, oh, well, I couldn't make it or this or another. I've seen y'all drive in the rain, hail, snail, hurricane, tropical storm four to the club. You can drive to Woman King. So don't forget to subscribe, share, it's Claire here. Bye.